Here is my 1970 LS swap project car. 1970 Firebird base model. Picked it up in April. Body's not too bad. Wheels are junk, I'll get rid of them. The rear chrome bumper looks perfect. Uh, one of the many oddities is the rear tail lights. I don't know if you can see this in here, but the chrome looks like aluminum foil was pressed around it. So that's kind of odd. Got replacements for those. Like I said, base model, no trim, no wheel well trim, which is good because I'm going to make it a Trans Am clone. So I have all the spoilers and fender flares on order. So I'll make it easier to put on without the uh, taking off the chrome. Body's in fair shape. I like the style, so that's good. Here's one of the issues. 70 did not have a uh, coolant recovery tank, so I need to add one to make it uh, legal for tracking. The engine bay was spray painted to cover up all the imperfections, so it looks like junk. Battery, I think, is put on backwards, and again, all the wiring was uh, spray painted black, so <clears throat> I have a uh, battery hold down kit for that because it's just flopping around. I'm thinking of putting the uh, coolant recovery tank here, but what I have is going to be a little tight, so I'll have to see if I can move these AC lines and try to um, find room for it to put in. I'm going to be spending most of today replacing headlight rims, parking lights, rims, just uh, old rusted pitted stuff. September it's due to go into the chassis shop to be tubbed, put in an narrowed rear end, put in a four link rear suspension, totally replace the front suspension. Gonna try to turn it into a Silver Creek, or Silver Creek, <laughs> see if I can cut that out. Silver State Classic Challenge Speedster in the 130, 160 mile an hour class. Also a four point cage will go in. I believe that's the minimum for uh, Silver State. Interior is not too bad. The gear shift looks like it was some, some kind of hack job. It's got machine screws. There's no ratchet action to the sh shifter, so I don't know what uh, what happened with that. So, but overall, not too bad. Uh, doesn't look too bad at all. In fact, it uh, looks really nice as far as uh, the interior goes. Looks like new carpeting. Uh, seats look like nowhere, so that's kind of odd. Um, haven't checked to see whether the seats are uh, correct for this model or not, but I will be doing that. So anyway, let me stop the filming and start getting to work here. And hopefully I can sh have a after video this afternoon that shows a lot of improvements. Here's the before picture, all the loose parts, including uh, front grille, headlight bezels, Parking light bezels, battery trays, license plate frames, overflow jug, and uh, I think that's it. Here is some before video of my 1970 Firebird that's going to be going into the fabricator tomorrow. Three fifty two barrel dual exhaust. Examples of some of the worn out.
frame bushings and the standard three speed automatic is going to be replaced with a 6L ADE six speed automatic transmission as well as a 525 horsepower LS3 376 cubic inch engine There's the 22 Camaro. Also going to be tubbing the rear. New narrow rear end. And don't know yet whether we're going to be able to replace the stock gas tank with a narrow gas tank or put in a fuel cell. That's to be determined later after the four link rear suspension is put in, see how much room we have. Came with 14 inch tires. And it looks like they did a lot of spraying of black underneath to, I guess, make it look better. Real nice rear chrome bumper. Here is the driveway view of the 1970 Firebird that's going into the fabricator tomorrow. I've done a couple of little things to it. Replace the grill, replace the headlight bezel, replace the parking light bezels. Replace the bent up front license plate frame. Paint's not too bad. I'd uh, give it a fair. Replace the uh, outside chrome mirrors. I am turning it into a Trans Am clone. So I tried doing the rear spoilers myself and uh, eh, fair to poor job. I'm not sure whether the right side is because of my misalignment or trunk lid or something, but we'll leave it as is for now. And there's the uh, perfect rear chrome bumper and also replace the rear light assembly bezels and everything give a little bit uh, sharper cleaner look so it is going into the fabricator tomorrow and I will be loading weekly videos of the progress made the current estimate is four to six months for all the work to be done